Hey, I'm Jesse Bergen, and we're gonna be checking out Italian by Night, hottest Italian restaurant in the Uptown St. John. Come with me. I'm Michelle Houghton, and I'd like to welcome you to Italian by Night on behalf of myself and my partners Elizabeth Rowe and Gord Hewitt. Here we opened in 2016, but Italian by Night started on King Street in 2012. Michelle, I'm so excited to be with you here, and I'm just here to, you know, try to figure out, like, how do we order in an Italian restaurant? Well, I think there's a little bit of a misconception that you need to have something from each section. It's not necessary Italians don't eat like that we'll uh, do a hot towel service and so they come over and with a big flourish they shake out and it's quite it's steaming and it's passed to you and so what you do is you wipe your hands with it oh this is uh, this is perfect way to start a meal when you're in Italy you walk into a restaurant you're often greeted with a glass of Prosecco it's just a sign of welcome sign of celebration bubbles it always makes you feel happy so this is my favorite Prosecco I love it chin chin I have been cooking Italian food for 40 years. I've lived various places where it was heavily influenced with Italian people, and I've been to Italy well over 15 times. And my partner, Elizabeth, again, loves Italian food. And so my expertise in the kitchen, her expertise up front was sort of a marriage made in heaven. Whoa, look at that. Tell me what's going on in here. I'm always really excited about our breads. Actually, the focaccia recipe I worked on five days of my life devoted to trying to figure it out. We have a sourdough baguette and grissini. This is mascarpone with la bamba. La bamba. Which is a Calabrian pepper spread, roasted beets, cipollini onion that are marinated in a balsamic and olive oil. oil. I'd eat this alone. Though. Right, yeah. So, which I always love that. I think that's really such a fun thing to order. But even six people, if it was just a little nosh before your meal, it's just something pretty to put down. Can I destroy your beautiful you, you creation? Can. Here, try one with the salami. This is Ooh. delicious. Yeah, yeah. You'll love this is, that. This is plum all the way. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll take a dozen of these to go. Perfect. The Italian food that we do at Italian by Night is heavily influenced from the Tuscan region of Italy. But I'm also very much a believer in supporting local growers. You know how much I love drinking I beer. I do indeed. We have lo all the local beers support them heavily, love them, but we thought it was important to also have an Italian beer in the mix. Yeah. Let there be beer with the raviolis. <laughs> so one of the things I find through, through many different cultures, many different types of cuisine is that they all have some sort of a dumpling. What we have right here is famous Italian dumplings. Right, so handmade ravioli. It's just they're so delicious and people love fresh pasta. Perfect. Awesome. And what do we have right here? A little tortellini oh. and it is a salmon mousse. Look at that, a little tortellini right there, right in my mouth. Huh? <laughs> mm. It's really great that you can order a plate, share it, and go on a little Italian adventure Absolutely. Here. You could easily just order one ravioli and you each have a bite of it. And with your wine and, you know, it, it, it becomes enough of a, of a plate and then you move on to the secondi. Mm. It's easy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. I love lamb shank. And also, so this is our citrus gremolata. So you get that citrus, which is just cuts the richness of the lamb. And then this is our famous deep fried polenta. Traditionally, St. John is a meat and potatoes town. Right. I think this is like, you know, very elevated meat and potatoes. Absolutely, it's exactly what it is. They're taking base product, but with all of that technique and patience and love, and then turning it into something yummy. And that's it. And it doesn't matter if it happens in Italy or if it happens in St. John, New Brunswick. Let's crush this right, uh, soul let's food see here. It. Let's see it. St. John's not a bad place to open a business. It's a great place to open a business as long as you're prepared to really put your shoulder to it and work hard. I gotta say, I'm a <laughs> big fan of tiramisu. It's not only sweet, but it gives you a little kick. A little kick, and that's exactly what tiramisu means. Pick me up. So let's see what you think. We're getting into her. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Awesome. You know, Prosecco, the charcuterie, the Peronis, you know, and ended it up with the tiramisu. Perfect. Amazing. Uh, we're so lucky to have you guys here in St. John uh, throwing out some amazing flavors. Thank you so much. Now, I typically am not the server no of the... Woo! <laughs>